Imagine. Imagine you are in your early 20s and you're in the prime of your life. You're maybe studying, maybe working, or even both. But fact is, you are far from where you want to be in life. And everyone around you may be your friends. Right now, they all have better jobs, better internships, better grades. And that makes you feel pressured. Pressured because of your friends, pressured because of family, or even pressured because of society. And let me tell you, that there's one more thing that was social media. Nowadays, you are social, uh, pressured from social media. For example, let me show you this guy. I know this is a meme. I would say a highly um, researched meme. And um, there's a guy who posted a photo of him stating that he owned over or earned over 80 different certificates. And um, these certificates are from highly um, well-known um, corporations and institutes. But um, the thing here is that this guy is basically saying, um, maybe it's time to check more heart rate. That's probably a bit too high. Um, where did I left off? So a little thing. In my opinion, I came across a couple of guys in my life that stressed me out a lot. And this guy, I have huge respect for this guy because he seems to be highly successful. But when I came across a couple of guys, I always ask myself, how will I ever be successful in life? And these guys are just too good in life. I'm here to tell you today that this is a common thought we all had, self-doubt. And right now, I feel a lot of it. I'll re-roll. I'll re-roll. Self-doubt is in all of us. But in the end, it's not about him or any of his certificates. It's not about them. It's just about you. Now, I want to share my experience because I also went through a lot of self-doubt, and I felt it now. <sighs> a lot of stress, but it's gone. Now, I want to share my experience. And in my experience, in my story, there's a couple of things that I want to teach you. And it's about not thinking too much about the others, rather than just focusing on yourself. And I call that the guide to creating yourself. Let's dive into it. Now, one and a half years ago, I was just finishing my bachelor's degree. I studied business and economics, like probably many of you. When I realized that I want to take one year off to focus on what I want to do in life. And in fact, I did not really know what I was going to do in life. So I was going into a new year with a lot of excitement. But I soon had to find out that this, and we all did, COVID crisis was a lot more intense and um, serious than we all thought. So basically, I was just spending a lot of time at home, doing nothing but playing video games. Until a few, a few weeks later, when I realized that I was actually given a present, the most valuable asset that you can get, and that is time. And I wish I had known that a bit earlier. earlier. But um, nonetheless, I said to myself a few weeks later, where it just clicked in my head, that um, you got to prove my family, that you got to prove them, but most importantly, that I had to prove myself that now is the time. So what did I do and where did I start? <laughs> That's a good question. 
I started with my intuition. And my intuition was so far from clear, but I had this one deep desire, desire and that was making films. I always loved making films, but I never really put them online because I thought social media was a toxic place. And I'm trying not to laugh because social media is a toxic place. Holy moly, I've seen things. But speaking of facts, I was scared of people judging me, me and my content. That was the number one reason holding me back to pursue my passion and put myself out there. So then, literally for weeks, I was going back and forth, like I'm right now, deciding whether I should start posting videos. And this was a long process, and it wasted so much time thinking about it. But one day, I remember, I was when I downloaded an app, and I cannot name it, but it contains a lot of funny and stupid and sometimes really disturbing videos. And I posted my first video. Guess what? Nothing really happened. Until I posted this video. Let me show you. quite dramatic and intense. But um, this was basically just a video of mine where I filmed with my drone. My brother was driving a car. Don't worry, I wasn't driving the car and filming the drone at the same time. So safety first. Um, but what the hell is so special about this video? So this video is special to me because it was my first video that ever went viral. And um, as you can see from the numbers, it has well over 6 million views, which is totally insane, and to me, totally incomprehensible. And on one hand, I do not understand why, but on the other hand, I realized that people would actually really enjoy watching my, my edits, my videos, my sound choice, the whole product. They liked it. So that was basically my first confirmation that filmmaking could be my thing. So today, I see this video as my first success. Although it's not monetary or anything, I see it as my first success. And it wouldn't be if I didn't just start. And this brings me to my first and most important lesson for today, and that is start by starting. Now, this sounds a bit stupid or easy, maybe basic to most of you but I want to assure that this is an essential key concept for anyone. And it took me ages to comprehend this. So I'm talking about this mental barrier that is in your way, trying to limit your talent, your passion, or even future profession. The only way to get around this is by getting out of a comfort zone. And as I said, I'm doing this right now, way out of the comfort zone, but it feels good. And sometimes, I believe, you just have to go into the dark to find out what just small decisions could potentially turn into. You never know. And for example, this is a good example, I would have never in my life expected to be in a TED stage, especially not in the year 2022. If any one of you would ask me two years ago, I would say, no way. I'll simply not believe it, I'll freak the out. So, for a fact, starting never is an easy, comfortable, 100% sure thing. It never is, and starts can be very volatile, as you saw. But if you understand this concept, things will get a lot easier. 
And then I realized that this is a usual thing in life. I learned one of my most important lessons, and that is be comfortable being uncomfortable. Whew, that's deep. Now, this is another quote. It has a lot of words, or a lot of variety in words, but it's not that simple. If you understand this concept, it will make you so much stronger mentally. Because even, for example, when you have a job that you really like and enjoy, and you're comfortable with, uncomfortable situations, they will always circle back, no matter what. Always. So better get used to it. So after my success video, which I showed you, um, I was basically putting a lot of work into new videos. And um, no video, or yeah, no product performed nearly as good as the one. And that made me self doubting myself again. It's a stupid Nico. And then I thought I was just a one time wonder. Stupid Nico again. But um, there was this tiny bit of ambition left that I had. And this kept me going. And at some point, a few weeks later, I realized that I should just less think about what other people could potentially say about my videos. Should, I should just not care. And there was just two important things that now mattered. That I posted content that I personally liked and enjoyed, and that I posted consistently. And talking consistency this brings me to my second and also really important lesson for today. It was my hardest lesson that I had to learn in my life. And that is, be consistent and be resilient. Now, I always thought that perfectionism is the, the key to, to having a success in any way. And it sometimes is, don't get me wrong. But consistency kind of wins. For example, again, I would waste hours and hours deciding whether a video was good enough or not, even days. But in the end, nobody cared 100%. It was just me caring 110%. So from then on, I would just post something I liked, and I would post it consistently. Also, for example, when you look at any creative industry, there's a lot of people, and I know some, that are pretty much resting on their short-term success and they lost sight of the bigger picture. But if you want to have success sustainably, and if you have a long-term mission in life, you better be, and I really like this quote, consistently good at something rather than just occasionally great. Let that sink in. Now, I also mentioned resilience. I'm talking resilience. I mean drawbacks. For example, if somebody says, Nico, your video just sucks, or it's not good at all, I take it. I don't care. I try to be resilient. And if you have maybe big mistakes in your career, or like real setbacks, you should try to be resilient, because I believe that mistakes are the biggest learning opportunities. And you can learn the most from it. So see them as essential in life. We all have bad days, we all have a good, a good days, but the ones who recover the fastest, they win. All right, now, within my last one to two years, um, pretty much everything changed in my life to the good, and there's beautiful things that happened. I want to name a few. Um, but these things all only happened because of a couple of reasons, and I told you two already, if you remember. First, starting to pursue my passion, posting videos. And second, I was resilient and consistent with it. Now, some examples are that finally, I'm 23 now, I got to know my people. I got to know my people that actually shared the same interest and vision with me, whether it be managers, creators, students, all kinds of people. And I cannot stress enough how important it is to surround yourself with such people. And talking 
surrounding yourself with, uh, with supportive people. I was also lucky enough to have met my girlfriend, and she's in the crowd today, so I love you. And I, I cannot put in the words how grateful I am for her. So then also, I started talking to brands, and I started talking to them, or working with them professionally. And that was the first moment I realized then that you can literally take your passion, put it there, and earn yourself a living of it. Why nobody tell me before? Then I took profession to another level, and um, I also got to know my business partner. And right now we are building a creative lifestyle company together, and the journey has been amazing. So, bottom line, your life can totally change in a couple of weeks or even days. But it all comes at a cost. I'm just kidding. It's another tip that I'll give you today, and that is do not overload. It's my last tip for today. And um, sometimes I've seen that, or I've heard that, um, people have over 50,000 thoughts a day, and uh, I sometimes catch myself thinking a lot. But um, that's a lot, 50,000. And I believe that in a social media world that we live in, such a fast-paced world, it will just not get better at all. And what I see is that young people mostly are so stressed out about this that they often follow other people's journeys on Instagram or wherever, and they lose sight of their own path and forget to create their own life. So I believe it's good to get inspiration and all. I do it with myself. But you should really get inspired to a certain amount and not get exhausted from the overload. So try to filter healthy inspiration and do not get drowned in too much success or perfection that you see on it, any of the platforms. Now, a little tip for you is to get rid of all the negativity. That means unfollow. I'm not saying you should be toxic or anything, because we don't like toxic people. But unfollow people you absorb negativity from, and just watch people you really identify yourself with. Big disclaimer, do not unfollow your friends. Please, it does not well. Also keep in mind that sometimes it's just good to take a break, take a step backward, and release the tension. What I do is sports. I do sports on a daily basis. As you see, I'm very dynamic. Could never sit still in school. It just helps me clear off my mind and reset myself, and you should too. So find something, quality time, where you can really reset yourself. Right now, I am the happiest I've ever been. And on this stage, I'm even happier. And throughout the last few weeks or so, I realized that with the growing number of people watching me and my content, that I now have this responsibility, but also opportunity to reach thousands of people. And I'm certainly not using it to promote my skincare routine. I want to use it in a way where I can inspire people to be the best versions of themselves. That is my dream, that is my goal, because a dream without a goal is just a dream. Now, talking about inspiring, I actually put plans into action about half a year ago when I saw that, as I said, young people were really struggling with finding their path in life and being productive. So I initiated, with a good friend of mine, a project where we would um, do a social media challenge 
where people would document their daily life and be productive and live a healthy lifestyle. And so far, many more people than we ever anticipated are taking part, and it's been such a blessing, so I'm grateful. So now, on the next slide, I'm going to show you a couple of questions or DMs I get asked on a daily basis. For example, what keeps you motivated? Nico, how do you keep consistent energy and focus? Nico, how do I find time to fully focus on my passion? And those are all good questions. But I always say that I don't have the, the true answer to this. I don't believe there's a universal solution to like, how you do it in life. But I can share a couple of tips, which I call the guide to creating yourself. Three key characteristics to help you succeed in business or take your passion, turn that into a job. And that is start by starting, be consistent and be resilient, and do not overload. That is the guide to creating yourself. And you are the only one in charge of creating yourself. That is what matters. Thank you.